All right, so after months of work, hours and hours of sanding, and something like 13 coats of stain, the toy box is finally finished. Today is January 18th, 2013. I was actually trying to do this before Christmas, and I had most of it done except for the stain before Christmas. But staining things is apparently harder than I realized because I kept screwing it up and it kept dripping and running and I would have to sand it and redo it. But after a few um, trial and error attempts, I was finally able to fix everything. So here's the finished product. We'll give you a quick uh, overview of what it is and what's going on with it. Pretty standard toy box. Has a nice little lid. If you open it up, it has hidden hinges. Um, I think these are meant for cabinets, like kitchen cabinets. Put those on there. And then I added this one in the middle just for reinforcement because I imagine it'll get pushed this way pretty hard sometimes. Inside, plenty of room for storage and toys. One hidden feature is the hidden compartment. Which, um, you can hide things under there. And no one will ever know about it, except for the people who watch this on the internet. Um, but Lola will have a nice little place down below all of her toys where she can hide things. And it will be her secret compartment. And there's Lola's toy box. And here's Steve with a cone on his head because he had surgery. Steve, he's so, so happy to have that cone on his head.